Let's talk about surround sound. We have our audio project here, Whispers in the Dark, and at this point, we'd like to make it into a 5.1 surround sound mix. If you ask any surround guru or aficionado, they'll tell you that without the proper hardware, you can't listen to 5.1. This is absolutely true. So what do you do if you're like me? You've got two speakers and a subwoofer attached to your computer. You don't have a home theater system. What can you do in Vegas? Well, the answer is you can turn out a 5.1 mix in Vegas without having the appropriate hardware. You're going to have to test it on appropriate hardware ultimately, but you can put out a mix in 5.1 without having the correct hardware. I'll show you how. First, let's look at options, preferences, audio device. Here we can select the three pairs that make up the 5.1 matrix. The traditional left and right stereo front pair, rear left and right pair, and the other pair consists of the center channel and the subwoofer. In my case, I've routed all of those to the only stereo pair that I have, and my subwoofer manages itself. Everything is plugged into the subwoofer. To turn this project into a surround project, all I have to do is File, Properties, Audio, and change Stereo to 5.1 Surround. Now, the master bus has become a surround master bus, where I have the front pair, the rear pair, the center, and the subwoofer. And each of the buses now has a surround panner. If I right-click on this and choose surround panner, I now have a large surround panner that I can play with right here. Confirm the routing in the surround mixer by clicking on the routing tab. Note that front surround, rear surround, and center and LFE, they're all selected to output three and four. There are three ways to mix with surround in Vegas. One way is to use the buses. All the tracks are routed to the buses. You use the bus surround panner. By the way, if you have a joystick, it will work. The second option is to route a track directly to the master, in which case the track now has the surround panner. The advantage is that you have ultimate control over each individual track. The disadvantage is if you have several different drum tracks, for example, and you want to position them the same, what do you do? The answer is you use a combination of buses and individual track surround controls. I'll show you what I mean. We have two bass tracks, remember, and one of the reasons is I want to route one of the bass tracks, the max bass track, directly to the LFE, the subwoofer. So I'm going to route one bass track to the subwoofer and the other one to the general mix. So the third way is the hybrid, using both buses and individual track controls. Now that we have more than two ways to pan something, panning becomes critical. If we right-click in the surround panner on the bus control, or the large surround panner, or the pan control here, or the slider here, we get a menu which allows us to change the pan type. Right now we're set to add channels. Add channels is for stereo files. As you pan across, the image seems to move across the speakers. Note how the values of all of these are changing as I'm moving this around. Note the numbers change depending on the type of pan law that I'm using. 